Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Welcome to this weather school video where we're going to be taking a look at um, some cumulus clouds, some unstable air and seeing how that ties up with the SKU-Ts and with the satellite pictures too. So this is the analysis chart from this morning, which is Tuesday, the 16th of April, 2013. And we've got low pressure centred towards the northwest of um, Scotland, well, towards the west of Scotland. Got a cold front, you can see there, that's moving its way eastwards through the country. And usually behind cold fronts, you do expect to get some cooler air moving in, which is unstabilising the atmosphere. And that means that we get cumulus counts developing. Now the satellite picture picks up quite well on that too. Look, there's the centre of low pressure centre west of Scotland. Here's the cold front that's just clearing its way eastward. But look, we've got this shroud of cloud you can see there down towards the south. That's a jet stream going over the uh, southern part of the cold front. But these lumpy clouds here are the cumulus clouds following in behind. Now what was interesting about these clouds, and the reason I wanted to show them to you, is this is the scene behind the cold front, and you can see that the cumulus clouds are quite well developed there, those fluffy clouds got quite a bit of depth to them, but it was the high cloud that I wanted to draw your attention to, you can see it there, just over the top, that cirrus cloud across the top of the cumulus, and this is a great way for the atmosphere to show us what's going on, because it's like looking through a 3D painting, in the, in the um, bottom levels of the atmosphere we've got the cumulus, and what that's indicating is cool air there so that means that the cumulus clouds can develop into quite unstable but at upper layers we've got that high cloud the high cirrus cloud that's indicative of warmer air aloft hence more stable air and what that means is that the cumulus cloud which relies on cool air to grow can't do so because it's coming up against the warmer air and that limits the vertical extent of the cloud and here we've got a base of around 2,000 feet and tops were up at around eight or 9,000 feet sufficient just to produce one or two light showers, but nothing more. And this is the SKU-T forecast for midday on the 16th of April. And this is from weatheronline.co.uk. And what this shows us is on the right here, the red line is temperature. On the left here, we've got dew point. And we shorten that to TD, so we've got dew point there. Now, um, the, there's a grey line that shows on here too. That's the trajectory that a parcel of air would take if lifted. Now, when that's right of the red temperature line, that means that that layer is unstable. When it's to the left, that means it's stable. And the beauty of this forecast skew T is it shows us exactly what was on that photograph because here we've got a base of cloud at about 900 millibars. Here we've got a top of cloud up at about 770 millibars. So that puts our bases at around two to 3,000 feet. It puts our top up at around 9,000 feet. So that's the depth of cloud that we saw. So it's shown us exactly what it should on uh, that photograph. And then above that, you notice here how the red line skews off towards the right. That's indicative of that stable layer of air at upper level. So that's why that cumulus cloud couldn't grow. So just wanted to show you that because it's a great example of taking a, a photograph of the actual weather conditions and relating it directly to what we're seeing on the chart. You see, it does work sometimes. Anyway, thanks again for uh, watching. Remember that uh, the site here is kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen. It's by Ukraine back using the site and using the adverts. That's what keeps us free of charge. So thank you for doing that. And thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.